15. You're always bringing up the hallway rules and you never have a mask on. Yeah. You don't have to wear a mask when you're eating, bro. You're always eating. Exactly. Oh, God. It's the mouth breather again. I can breathe through my nose if I wanted to, okay? Gross. I'm live streaming this. Not if I live stream you first. Put on a fucking mask! I'm live streaming both of you. This is the tipping point with Liz Wheeler. As many of my viewers know, I'm viewing the response to COVID-19 from a very skeptical viewpoint. You need to question two things, the premise and the reason of that premise. Why are they imposing the policies they're imposing? And then based on that premise, you need to question the policy. The premise of my question is, based on what? What's the premise? Premise. Oh my. Uh, oh. Finally happened, Dad. The extended the no eviction policy? No. The stimulus money arrived. <laughs> Hard! <coughs> I believe you have my check. Well, there is no check. I got something even better. How about a little bit of... Uh... Pancake mix. Aunt Jemima pancake mix. Kevin, where's my $1,200? Well, uh, check this out. You see, I... Uh... Got seventeen hundred dollars. You know, I claimed you as a kid in my taxes, and that's an extra five hundred for raising you. You claimed me as your kid, Rufus. As long as you live under my roof, you are my boy. <sighs> you know what? Whatever. Just give me the rest of the money then. This is the last box. It costs seventeen hundred dollars. It costs seventeen hundred dollars. I feel like you need to calm down a bit right now. This Aunt Jemima pancake mix is gonna be worth a fortune in a year or two. It's gonna be expired in a year or two. Rufus, I'm not an idiot. I know that. That's why I'm talking about getting some of that museum money. We gotta preserve history here. You know I really hate you sometimes. Should you have a family? Should you have a house? Should you have a green yard, two kids and a spouse? Green yard, red yard, blue yard, purple yard, I'm gonna go hang out at the boulevard, yeah. What are we doing here again? COINTELPRO DOT. That's why we got these spiffy new duds. We're gonna surveil, infiltrate, and disrupt. So these guys are trying to keep Aunt Jemima on the shelves, and if that happens, that's 1700 bucks down the drain. I doubt everything you just said. Oh. These guys look way too about it. First, they canceled cops. <laughs> and this year, that was going to be the best season yet. Yeah. Then next, got rid of blackface. Oh. Can't even do blackface oh. anymore. Not <laughs> even on Halloween. But now, they're taking away Aunt Jemima. No! Oh, oh, shit! Oh. Aunt Jemima! Oh. I've eaten Aunt Jemima pancakes before. They try and take away my history? Oh yeah, they're taking away your history, all right. And you know what they're replacing it with? A cartoon cat. Oh, oh shit, hell no! What the hell does a cat know about pancakes? I've seen a black woman making pancakes. Ain't never seen no cat. Oh, what about the syrup? They gonna cancel that too? No, I'm not quite certain about that part, Eric. I rushed to judgment real quick to organize this meeting here today, so I don't have all the details. But I certainly would place it in the realm of possibilities. You see what we're dealing with here now, boys? Now! Ready! Oh, yeah! Oh, 
cops here? Oh, uh, looks like they're just over there tear gassing those other people. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Good shooting, boys. Now, let's reload. We're going on down to the grocery store. Show them who's boss. Oh, yeah! All right, man, I'm gonna bail. You're on your own for this. What? Yeah, dude. Hey, you think the protest is still bucking the way home? Whoa! Oh! That was intense. Could they do that? No, but they did. For the sake of playing devil's advocate here, let's talk about something that no one else is talking about. Bill Gates. Now, I'm not saying Bill Gates is behind all of this, but I will say those that are selling the vaccine are making money on the virus. <laughs> oh, jeez. Fake news, am I right? Bill Gates? The one and only. Mind if I join you? I made Arnold Palmer's. Oh. They're good. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> so. What's old Liz saying about me today? Oh, you don't even worry about it. Just something about you uh, creating the virus to sell a vaccine. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's next? She'll say I'm a centuries-old monster, comes back every hundred years. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, it would be pretty cool, though. Wait, how did you even get here? Private jet. Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> what you got there, Dad? It's the vaccine. <laughs> vaccine to what? To the virus. You just drank. <laughs> works fast, Rufus. <laughs> my, my. I have to say, that is one excellent examination that you just passed. Congratulations, Kevin. You are now officially part of the militia. <laughs> That's what we like to hear, that. And here's your very own official American flag hat. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Feels nice. And you get to pick out a gun from the gun bin. <laughs> oh, damn. Which one should I choose? You don't. The gun chooses you. Oh, yeah. Thinking this deadly little lady right here, huh? <laughs> what a choice. I remember my first gun being gun. Killed a guy with it. Legally, too. Hey, uh, can we shoot in here? What do you think this is? America. Oh, oh, ah, what are you doing? Was that, was that not what you meant? No! I mean, well. It was pretty fucking cool. Was it? <laughs> Tell you what. Let's go introduce you to some of the boys. All right. I'm going to go clear these corners then. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. He's got a gun! Except for 
Maybe those two guys just now. But you guys shot first. I was just standing in my ground. Well, I'm just standing in my ground. You came into private residence with a gun. I'm allowed to have a gun. You trying to take my rats? No, you trying to take mine? Uh, well, I wasn't planning on it. So we both just stood our ground then? I, I think so, yeah. I, I'm actually a new member with you guys. You see, I got one of the, one of the hats. My name's Kevin. Oh shit, welcome. I'm Tucker. Hey there, Dad. This is Jared, Eric, Steve, and Travis. You already know Simon and Phil. Hey. We're just finishing up our meeting here, Kev. So remember, guys, next week we're having our Save Aunt Jemima barbecue. Ooh, a little barbecue now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I printed out a sign-up sheet for meat types so that we don't all end up bringing smoked ribs like last time. Well, yeah. I make amazing smoked ribs. Not as good as mine. I feel threatened! Guys, come on, we are gun owners. We all make amazing smoked ribs. You're damn right. That is why I made the sign-up sheet. Hey, can I eat this last drumstick? No way. The last one's mine. Already eaten it. Damn it, Bill Gates. How much longer are you going to be here? How long before you take the vaccine? You just gave me the virus. I'm not taking a damn thing from you. I could get you a cool dinosaur band-aid for after. Oh. Wait. No. Damn it. That's it. Get out of here, Bill Gates. Yeah. Go. Get. Yeah. Get out of here. You get! Go on, get! Get! They all dreamed of freedom The freedom of the night Freedom from God and our Second Amendment right I got a gun and I'm going to heaven My first truck in my 357 Oh, I got a gun Oh, I got a gun Man, I love that song. Yeah, hey Tucker, what's happening, Dot? You know how you guys are always like, first they came for Aunt Jemima? Then what's next? You're not gonna believe this, Dot. Uncle Ben's is what's next. Man, who gives a shit about Uncle Ben's? Really? I kinda thought you were gonna bite on that there. Alright. Well, you'd think some of their family would have showed up. My family don't talk to me much more either. What's happening there, Dots? Oh, you guys hear about. Uncle Ben's? Man, they still make Uncle Ben's? Yeah. What about you guys? Not much of a fan of rice. Uh, you know, you've been asking an awful lot of questions about that Uncle Ben's fella. Almost makes me wonder if you even care about Aunt Jemima. I care, man. I definitely care. All right, boys. Our first speaker tonight is Kevin Ham. Ah, uh, see? I'm about to go talk. Kevin asked if he could come up here and say a few words for the Fallen. Come on up here, Kev. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. All right, guys. Now, I know I haven't been around long, but I feel like we've really become a family. You know, and if there's one thing that I knew about Timbo and uh, Phil and uh, Simon, it's that they were brave men, men who stood their ground. More importantly, they stood for Aunt Jemima. They loved freedom, and they loved their families. But you know what they love more than anything else? Uncle Ben's. Now I know, you're probably thinking, I've never eaten Uncle Ben's before. Nobody has. You know, I'm surprised it's still around. You know, and it's certainly not gonna be as valuable to sell to a museum like a box of Aunt Jemima. But does that mean we shouldn't invest our time in Uncle Ben's? I think it's time for you to leave. This is truly a momentous day. A uh, huge find. So what we have here today is a prophecy scroll from thousands of years showing 
vile demon, Bill Gates, wreaking havoc. And below the demon is Bill Gates himself, offering a vial with people just begging for their lives, praying at him. Death, destruction. This is it, folks. This, this proves everything we've been saying. The very bottom even says it, too. Those who need will be offered a cure by the one that ails them. That's what it says. Ah! What you reading there, Rufus? Gonna wait for me to tell Gates! What do you want to get sprayed again? Hey, easy. That's just the virus talking there, bud. You know what would fix that right up, though? A little... vaccination. Come to understand you've been in contact with Bill Gates. What? How do you know that? Not everything is as it seems. You're in over your head. Hank. <coughs> You're in over your head. What? Yeah, you heard me. Listen, the phones aren't safe. I can explain everything. Meet me in 20 minutes. I'll text you the location. <coughs> yeah, okay. Sounds good. Tonight on OAN. Do you know what my daughter asked me last night? If Santa is going out to quarantine for Christmas, I've had it! Who else has been keeping tabs on Bill Gates like my show has? Oh, is Alex Jones here too? We're all here. Alex Jones. The pandemic lady! And I'm Mel Gibson, star of Conspiracy Theory 1997. Mm -hmm. Oh! He's not really with us. Look, we have a lot to explain, Rufus. <sighs> <sighs> So you're probably asking yourself, why this place? No, not really. This is the kind of place I figured you guys would hang out. Oh. Well, it's the only place in the city without a mask mandate. Wear a mask? Why? Because Bill Gates said so. Bill Gates is supposedly a doctor now, too, and he's not! He wants to tell us what to do! And then there's the Jews, and they're out there. Shut they're up! Out there. Stop! Yeah, but they're out Stop. there, they're trying to... Mel, you said you wouldn't bring that up again. Okay? Stalin took the guns! Mao took the guns! Biden's gonna- Alex, you too. Anyway, Rufus, we've been tracking Bill Gates for months now, which is how we found you. We saw you do something no one else has done. Do you know what Bill Gates is? Well, I read some stuff online about him being a mythological demon or something like that. Did you turn off your phone? Sorry, what? He's here. I don't know, I'm feeling like kinda sick. <coughs> I think it might be the Rona. You're all looking a little bit runny too. I feel great. <laughs> Maybe we should just take the vaccine. No, Rufus. That's what he wants. Oh, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The medicine go down. The medicine go down. In a most delightful Run! Run! I'm done running! Damn you, Bill Gates, you sexist! 
satanic demon! Do you really want to go, Bill Gates? Do you want to? Huh? Do you want to? Well, fine, asshole, let's do it. Because I'm a real cop, that's a real badge, and this is a real fucking gun. I don't want your vaccine! Oh, I didn't give you the vaccine. I gave you the next round of the virus. Congratulations, Liz. You're the new patient zero. <laughs> Quarantine's over. You can't stop this, Rufus. I've been around for thousands of years. The Spanish flu, the bubonic plague, you have any idea how much money I made off of those? You can't make me take the vaccine, Bill Gates. No, but I can get others to make you take it. There are so many elements at play here. Deceptions, misdirection. You think what your friend Kevin is up to is a coincidence? Rebranding Aunt Jemima was my idea. Get people mad. Get them mingling in the crowds. Who do you think funded the anti-mask campaign? Oh, really? Well, I'm still not going to wear a mask. Good. You see, the virus is in the open. It's only a matter of time before the government mandates my vaccine. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. The nurses love to say you'll only feel a light prick. But you and I both know it's much, much worse. I thought... <coughs> I told you... Get out of Bill Gates! You go on, you get! You go on, you get! You don't you you look at me! You get! Ah! Oh, well, dude, what about a box Uncle Ben's? Does that do anything for you? Wait. Where's my box, Uncle Ben's? Fine. I will take my box Aunt Jemima pancake mix elsewhere to a group that'll pay me easily double what I paid for it. Fucking white people, man. So? Look, I told you. I usually eat Hungry Jacks or Krusties if it's on sale. It's the matter of the principle. We should be able to buy Aunt Jemima's, you know, if we want to. And none of you actually want to buy it. <laughs> no! Ah, scam! I think it's time for you to leave. Guys, you're not going to believe this. Goodyear won't let me wear this shirt on the job. <laughs> Whatever happened to our freedom of speech? Lock and load, boys. But shall we put an end to Goodyear? And one of y'all grab a marker so we can make some cool bad year signs. <laughs> yeah! Bad year! Yeah. Damn right, bad year. This is the tipping point with Liz Wheeler. Tonight on the Liz Wheeler Show, we have the man who figured out how to stop Bill Gates. Rufus, welcome to the show. What happened to Liz? She died. Hard. Yeah. Back to how you defeated Bill Gates, though. That had been quite the experience. How did you get him to leave? Mm, you just kind of shoo him away. Knock a broom around a few times. It's Bill Gates. He's like a thousand years old. He'll leave. Wow. So you just shoo him? Yeah, like any broom should do. A spray bottle helps, too. He is, like, really old. 
Rufus, thank you so much for being on our show. Well, there you have it, folks. Despite what they want you to think, it is possible. All across the country, people are lining up to help shoe Bill Gates. But more importantly, they're lining up together as one people. Unified we stand. This is the tipping point. Yeah! On OAN. Goodbye, Aunt Jemima. May you enjoy life in the sea. This is why we came out here? Well, yeah, I figured nobody wanted to buy it, and, you know, Aunt Jemima deserves a nice send-off. What should I do with the box? Well, dude... You owe me $1,200. They all dreamed of freedom, the freedom of the night, freedom from God and our Second Amendment right. I got a gun and I'm going to heaven, my first truck in my 357. Oh, I got a gun. I got a gun